Hey, Twist the Big D here. If you're having trouble sliding tandems, this video might be for you. Welcome back, subscribers. And the new guys, hit that subscribe button down there so we can get this channel up. All right, we're talking about sliding those tandems. When we're sliding the tandems, we want to slide to whatever's the heaviest. A lot of different people slide tandems different way. This is what works for me. So, and this is what I teach my students. My trainer taught me the same way. He said, slide to the problem. Meaning, if you have too much weight on your drives, then you want to slide the tandems towards those drives. Because it's going to take weight off of the drives and it's going to put it on the tandems. And vice versa. If you're sliding the tandems, towards the tail of the trailer you're taking the weight off the tail and adding it to your drives so that's a little bit about sliding the tandems now i'm going to tell you a little bit about what i usually do so what i usually do is whenever i'm at a shipper i if i have the bills in hand i can see how much it weighs it's a lot easier to do because i can come up with like a basis of like hey i should have this much on my on my weight scale in the truck for the drives so what I do is I try to look at the bills if I got them and I'll go off of that but if I don't have no bills I don't know how much it weighs at all then I go ahead and I slide the slide the tandems towards the truck until I got about 33,000 pounds on my drives once I got 33 thousand pounds on my drives I go check the right weight gauge on the trailer back there and remember when you're checking that right weight gauge you have to set your truck brake and release your trailer brakes well that puts air into the trailer so that scale back there will work so if you're ever having problems with the scale not working make go make sure that you have air in it I find I see that all the time with my students so we're going to go back there and we're going to check that scale on the back. If it's really light, it, say it shows up with 18,000 18, pounds, then I'm going to try to even it up with the truck. I might slide the truck, I might slide the tandems up more towards the truck until I have about uh, 20, 25,000 pounds, something like that. You know, I'm just trying to even it out the best I can. If if that trailer scales re real heavy the tandems back there are heavy I'm gonna slide them back towards them and I'm gonna just try to adjust it where I don't have more than 34,000 on my drives up here so if I do have more than 35,000 or 34,000 on my drives then I'm for sure getting a weight scale ticket but I'm gonna make when I go for that weight scale ticket I'm only gonna have 34,000 on my drives or less that way I can get, um, whenever I go to the scale, it's probably that trailer gauge that's not working right. So, you know, you kind of don't trust that trailer gauge. Now, a lot of people trust it. I don't trust it. If there's any doubt in my mind, I'm going to take it to the scale. If that trailer gauge, I can't get it out of the red and I can't get it out of the yellow, I'm definitely going to take it to the, the weight station, the weight scale get a scale ticket I'm company it's free so it doesn't hurt if I don't have to go to a weight scale to get it scaled out then I'm just gonna roll with it and that's usually whenever I get the bills and I'm all like oh I got a really light load so there's no way they can be over you know if so also when you're sliding these tandems make sure you're checking the the sticker on the side and you're going to make sure that you're legal for each state on here. If you're going to California, guess what? It's going to be in the sixth hole or before. You know, different states have different rules on it. You can go through the list right here and make sure that you're in the right hole for each state you go through. If it's not on there, then it's, it's fair game. But make sure you make a note of some of these, especially the ones that are really restricted on here. Now, not only do you have to worry about that, the but steers. you also I, I leave my slide and fifth wheel all the way to the back. 
because I've never seen it over 12,500 pounds with it all the way in the back. We don't have a scale to go off of to see what those drives weigh, but what we, I mean not the drives, the steers. We don't have a scale for the steers, so we don't know what they weigh. They might be, if, you know, it, I'll, I'll never slide my, I'll never slide my slide in fifth wheel though. Uh, it's too much of a pain. I'd rather get a load reworked and slide it, unless it's like just a little bit. But it works the same way. You slide towards the problem. Steers are too heavy. Slide it up towards the steers. You know, it works the same way as the tandems. Uh, I, I don't like moving mine at all. It, the way you move it is you put your landing gear all the way down. Take, take some weight off of the side and fifth wheel. And you're going to get in the truck and release the locking pin. Make sure that the locking pin goes in. And then you're going to give it very little gas whenever you put it in reverse to slide it up. Because it's going to... It's going to throw you. Boom. It's not fun. <laughs> I don't like messing with it. Um, also, whenever you go to the scale, you should check out my video on the Cat Scale app. I have that up there. It works great. You don't even have to go in if you don't want to. I go in, I like getting a copy of it. So, sliding the tandems are, are some of the hardest problems we have out here. Also, when we're sliding the tandems, there's a if we're just moving a little bit of weight, say we go to a scale and we're all like, dang, man, we're a thousand pounds over on those tandems. Then what we want to do is we want to move the tandems back. So one of the easy ways to do it that I found, maybe since it's only a thousand pounds, maybe we want to move like two holes and then go back and get another scale ticket. What I'm going to do to move two holes is I'm going to roll down my window and I'm going to look out there at my lug nuts. The very top lug nut, I'm going to remember where it is. If I want to move two holes, I need to move the next two lug nuts up there to the spot that that lug nut is in. And for me, it lines up the pin to put it in that hole every time. So what I do is I watch that top lug nut. I remember where it is. I roll the next one to it. I stop. I look at it, make sure I remember where it is. I roll the second one to it. I stop. That way, it's in the. It only moved two holes, and that works, it, or it works for me. You might try it out with your truck. Your truck might be different than mine, but that's an easy way to move two holes. Like I said, there's a lot of people come up with their own formula. Say each hole's worth 500 pounds. Each hole's worth a thousand pounds. Whatever they say, that's each load's different i've seen it move a lot of weight i've seen it move a little weight so we just gotta play with it see what we can do to get it where we want it it's tandems they're easy to deal with as long as you remember always slide to your problem and that's all i really have hit that subscribe button if this helped you hit the likes if you liked the video and leave me a comment if you have any questions or want me to do other videos, I always could use some help making some more videos. I'm out.